Alright, first of all, I'd like to address the elephants in the room. I am not making this video simply because the pilot is relevant now. While a lot of my content does coincide with the time it was released, it's a topic that's happening now that I'm interested in talking about, but I'm not talking about it simply because it's happening now. I guess I should also preface this by saying I have absolutely no connection to the Thundercats franchise. I've never been much of an action superhero type guy, so I've never seen the 1985 or even the 2011 series. Me criticizing this pilot is not because I happen to be a fan of the original Thundercats, because I've never seen them. Also, I'm not entirely adverse to the idea of cartoon reboots or reinterpretations of a series, although I wouldn't exactly blame you if you were, considering for every one good reboot, there's about a million shitty trash ones. I can understand if you lost all faith in reboots. Why do networks do this? When cartoon reboots almost always damn near consistently fail, and in the worst case, is literally costing the network thousands and thousands of dollars. It's so common that when a cartoon reboot comes out that's actually good or even watchable, it's an outlier. It's an anomaly when a reboot is good. So why do they keep doing this? Are they masochistic? I've devised a theory that considering the obscene amount of money that networks make, they just fund one shitty show just to set them back a bit for tax return purposes. Or the opposite happens where a network will literally pick up a show just to run ads on it and then get back ahead. It's actually a genius business model. Buy one season of a reboot based on a property people already know well and seem to enjoy, make sure it's the most idiotic, vapid, surefire to fail show imaginable to get the fans riled up, so then they watch it out of morbid or ironic curiosity, get people on YouTube to make reviews of them, detect any reviews of the show, copyright claim them fraudulently, disregarding context and fair use law, Mamma mia! collects the revenue, get back ahead, Rinse and repeat. That is the only way I could possibly rationalize why networks pick up such creatively bankrupt trash like this. However, even if that is their tactic, it's still failed with this abomination called Thundercats Roar. Which, by the way, is an idiotic name. It sounds like a way that a 13-year-old furry would describe the show offhandedly. Not even as an actual title, just something like, I love Thundercats, or the title is so embarrassing that it's comparable to a group of people who are literally proud to admit that they've lost all sense of shame and that they don't give a shit about what anyone thinks of them. You do understand this is a television show, right? A show made for television? This title would be fine if it was just like a fan series or something, but no, this is an official title for a show. Back on track, Cartoon Network made the brilliant decision to upload the pilot to the show to watch for free on their website before it even premiered on television. Why? Why didn't they just make it a whole event on television? I understand that they can still make money from advertisements shown on their website, but it's much, much less than television. Those little ads you see to the side on the site make about one cent for each time they're seen. Compared to television commercials, who shill out hundreds of thousands of dollars to the network for them to be seen. And if the viewer is using adblock like 1 in 14 people do, including me, they're making absolutely nothing off of it. So even if 1 million people for some goddamn reason decided to check this out, assuming 1 14th of the people watching it have adblock on, the most they could have possibly made is $9,300. Television pilots for cartoons can cost as much as $500,000 fucking dollars. If the show is just a huge scam and they only made it to make money back, they should have just put it on and premiered it. Like a television show. T-Titans Go had essentially the same setup as Thundercats with everyone hating the trailers and everyone hating it before it even premiered. There was already a huge audience that was disliking Teen Titans Go before the show even came on. Because of this, when Teen Titans Go premiered, it opened up to an audience of 2 million viewers. Now granted, the premiere for Go was 7 years ago, and since then the market for television shows has noticeably decreased, but it still would have been a much smarter financial decision to keep the audience in mystery about what the show will actually be, so they can't just immediately dismiss it and have to watch it for themselves to see if their preconceived notions are justified. But by uploading it to your website for free, you're entirely eliminating that chance. Why would someone rewatch something that they've already seen for free and that they didn't like? And by the way, no, I'm not assuming that this is what Cartoon Network is actually intending. But by just putting it up for free, you've already killed the show's premiere. So even that, it's just a stupid decision to do. 
and putting it up for free early before it even premiered hasn't turned out well for the show. As I'm recording this right now, the show has a 1.7 out of 10 on IMDb between 304 people on IMDb. It has a 1.4 out of 5 on Google's review forum between 179 ratings. Keep in mind, you can't rate a 0 on these sites. The minimum is simply 1. I'd imagine the scores would be much lower if you could vote a 0 star. It's just astounding how Cartoon Network already put themselves in the hole for this before the show even debuted. When if they just premiered it on television, they could have at least made the money back that they spent on this. I've talked a lot about Cartoon Network so far, but not so much about the show itself. As you could probably surmise, my expectations for the show were astronomical, so you can imagine my utter shock when it turned out to be total shit. My main problem with this show is that it has no substance. It's not funny, it doesn't have any commentary or anything to say about anything, it's not engaging, it has absolutely nothing to offer the viewer. It looks like something superficial for kids to enjoy for 11 minutes, like a pack of fun dip. Just something fun to occupy your time for a bit, but like a pack of fun dip, when you actually open it up and consume it for yourself, you get just complete agonizing pain and then you never consume it again. I'm not saying every cartoon ever needs to be brilliantly engaging and bring you down to your knees in tears. In fact, some of my favorite shows of all time, like Invader Zim, Cat Scratch, and the earlier South Park episodes, are shows that simply thrive in their absurdity, while not actually having a point or taking themselves seriously at all. The difference between these shows and Thundercats Roar is that they're actually created by extremely talented and creative geniuses that just want to make the viewer laugh. They're very creative of shows. Thundercats Roar, however, seems to be just made by a couple of corporate shells who not only just don't take the show seriously, but they don't even respect the show enough to do the one thing it's supposed to fucking do. Entertain the audience. I've seen a lot of people superficially compare the show to Teen Titans Go. I'm assuming because they're both reboots of superhero shows that are meant to be taken less seriously than their predecessors, but I don't think that's a very apt comparison. While Teen Titans Go can certainly be vacuous and stupid, Teen Titans Go is meant to be satirical and at least trying to offer something to the audience, especially in the later seasons. Teen Titans Go is trying to entertain you in some way, and at the very least I can say I've never been bored while watching the show. And Teen Titans Go at its best is actually remarkably clever and funny. I'd say a more accurate show to compare Thundercats Roar to is Total Drama Rama. Both of them are just dumbed down reinterpretations of previous franchises, and both of them ultimately have nothing to offer you. Nothing to make you laugh, nothing to make you cry, nothing to make you think. Unless the literal joke of your show is that you have nothing to offer, like 12 Ounce Mouse or the film Billy's Balloon, at least one of those goals is something a show should aspire for, and this show just completely misses all of them. Another change they made to the reboot is that it now takes place in a universe where straight lines and clear definition is illegal, and everything needs to be animated like it's trying to entertain a goldfish with attention deficit disorder. Combined with how the show never shuts the hell up, it's actually mind-blowing that a show that insists on cramming as much artificial energy into it also manages to be so devoid of anything interesting or substantial. This show is what people who've never seen a cartoon before assume what a cartoon is. Just incessant, mindless, over-exaggerated, baseless nonsense with nothing of value to it. Just a product that doesn't try and is just meant to keep kids quiet. And this show even fails at that, because I couldn't imagine the show entertaining small children, and I definitely can't imagine the show entertaining fans of Thundercats. Who is the show even for? I'm not saying this show just has to be the way I want it to be. I'm saying would it hurt for the show to possess some sort of value? Have something to offer its target audience? Is that just an unreasonable thing to ask for? This show is such a gross waste of money, time, and energy that the electric company should demand a refund for the electricity used to produce this show. Not money, but literally the electricity wasted, because it clearly wasn't used productively. I've exaggerated a lot in this review, but one thing I'm dead serious on is that there's nothing, literally nothing, to be gained from watching this show. This show is offensive in how little it has to give you. I really hope this show can turn around and being from a vacuous waste of time, but if it did, it'd have to be a bigger fucking turnaround than South Park. Watch the pilot for yourself if you don't believe me and want to literally waste 23 minutes of your life. As I said before, it's available on Cartoon Network's website for free, but be warned, I genuinely genuinely couldn't find an audience for this show. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.